So hi everyone. So for today, we're going to create a Power Automate flow that will get the user group in Microsoft Entra ID. So I have already prepared here the flow. So and then we have here the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. <clears throat> And then we have the user for for our example later but we can access all users here and and then here we have all the users and so once we click here We can see the user information. Later, we will be needing the the information of the user, especially the object ID. So while loading, let's go back to the Power Automate flow. So the first thing that we need to do is to select a trigger. So for this one, we're going to select or yeah, select the manual trigger a flow. And then let's add input. This is where we will add the user ID to get the group associated with them so let's add user id and then leave it as is and then next step is click the new step and then create a um, add initialize variable this is where we will be putting the final result initia initia initialize variable so for the name let's add var group var user group so that we have a clear description then select for the type let's select string and then the value leave it as is so for us to understand the flow let's rename this var user group and the next is new step we will now add the entra id then look for the get user group get groups of a user here then for the user id or principal name we will select the var input I, I mean the input from our from our trigger which is the user id then select the user id here and then for the security enabled only let's select no and then new step or let's try it first so we can know if this really gonna work so let's test then manually save and test let's wait for a few minutes or a few seconds 
here we will be asking to input the user id so for the user id we will get it here on our microsoft entra admin center unless you have you have a trigger like power apps uh, on that you can get the the value from power apps if you trigger it through power through canvas app so let's wait for a moment to load I will just click user. Let's try to click the user, all users. And then let's select again. Let's wait for a moment. <laughs> Here on the object ID, we'll just copy this one and then paste it here. Then click, click run flow. Then let's wait to run the flow. Click done and our flow runs successfully. So let's see if we got the groups of the user. So there you are. We now have our users group. So what's all of these numbers or what what's this let's let's make it more readable for us so click on the new step and then i mean search for entra we will be needing a get group get group action to get the name of the groups so let's select the get from get groups of users we have the members group id that will be the the value so that we can get the, the display name of the group so we will have apply to each the next action is finally the variable we will set the value of the in our initialized variable earlier so click on the name then select the var user group and then for the value we will be selecting the get group which is this one the get group display name which is the display name of the group so let's try and test it click automatically so which is the test the so that we don't need to input again the the user id let's just wait
our flow run successfully. Yay! Let's wait to load this one so that we can view the result. So for our trigger, we have we have the user ID that we have input earlier and then for the initialized variable it is a string and then for the groups of user we have the the user or uh, the group ID of the user and then this is the list of the groups of the user and then we have the apply to each this is where our groups is located so now we have the display name we have to view that we have here we have sample and then we have five we we got five groups so the next one is sales and another one is production and so on so that's it for getting a user group for entra id so just for the recap the first thing that you want that you will do is to select a trigger and then add a variable and then get the group of user and then here on our group of user add the input from the trigger and then and apply to each we will add the get group and then input the ID of the the user group and then for the value just add the display name of the group and then to display it for as a variable um just add the add the group display name that's all thank you so much if you have any question or you want to or other flows that you want to have a tutorial just comment down below thank you so much